In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to interact with REST API using Python. Before we begin, we must make sure that we have the request library installed. To do that, all we need to do is run pip install request. Now, let's take a look at how we can create our first API call. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Pokemon API, which is an open source API that contains information about Pokemons. Looking through the wiki, we can see that the URL and the request method is provided to us. So, we're going to use the request.get method on this URL. Now, let's copy the URL into our code. We also need to store our response somewhere. Now, let's try to print our response and see what we have. As you can see, the request returned a 200 HTTP response, which means that our API call successfully went through. But how can we get the contents for our response object? We can either convert our response into a JSON format or into a text form. The response.txt will return a string, while response.json will return a dictionary of the information. I'm going to be using response.json because it is easier to get values out of a dictionary. Now let's run our code and see what the response is. Going to the response, I can see that there are way too much information for me to digest. Now since this is a dictionary, let's go through the available keys and get the values for those keys so that we can avoid looking at unnecessary information. First, I'm going to store the response.json object back into response. And since this is a dictionary, I can easily use a for loop to check the keys that are in the response object. Now, let's clear our screen and run the script again. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different keys, including abilities, base experience, and etc. But what I'm most interested in is the name, specifically the key name. Now, what I want to do is just get the value for that particular key. For that, we can just print response and point it to the key name. Now, since I already know the first Pokemon in the Pokedex entry is Bulbasaur, I can confirm this by running the script and getting checking the name. Now, what if we want to check the abilities? Let's change this into abilities. Let's run this and see what we have. As you can see, we have a list of dictionaries. Now, if we only want to get the name of the ability, we can further create a for loop to check and only print out the name. Since our object is a list, we can iterate through it using a for loop and checking it in the range of our list. So what this line will do is that it will go through the list and get the current dictionary and print out the value for the key ability which itself is another dictionary and get the value for the key name. So if we run this, we should be able to see, oops, sorry, let's, let me save this and rerun that again. Now we can see that only the name of the ability is printed out. The request library is a very powerful and handy library, especially when we're trying to automate 
doing API calls. So take for example, I want to get the name and ability for the first 10 Pokemons in the Pokedex entry. To do that, I can easily create a for loop. and call the request function within. So all I have to do is pass in the ID value and it should return all the information about the Pokemon with the ID 1 to 10. We can confirm this by printing out the Pokemon names together with the abilities. Now let's clear our terminal and run the script again. So as you can see, we are getting the information about the first 10 Pokemons within our Pokedex entry. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.